Oh, but first she's doing a little head dance. Hey adventurers, it's another lovely day in central Louisiana. I hope that we're gonna find a lot to show you today. Well, I don't wanna waste any time, so let's get flipping. There you go, nice look at this guy. Nice look at this three-line salamander. Now these three-line salamanders are really easy to identify. Uh, they have these three bold black lines on them uh, that's separated by their gold uh, dorsum. So, look at how long that tail is. All right, I'm gonna give him a splash of water to help keep him moist. Go on back under your log. Oh, the wrong way. There you go. I almost passed by this snake right here. Wow, that's a small banded water snake. Oh, and there it goes, somewhere. And you can get a little bit of a better look. You can see the bands now. Oh, there he goes. Aha! A new creature for today. This right here is an Eastern Newt. Nice to see. Let's pick him up, take a closer look. Look at that. Awesome. Now if we get really close to this guy, we can see that he has uh, red spots on him. Yeah, right there. Pretty cool looking. Uh, these guys can be really bright red um, in their eastern ranges. Very neat. Okay, let's let this guy go back under his log. Awesome. Eastern Newt. New one for the day. And look at that, we got a three-line salamander right next to it. I showed you that other one pretty good, so I'm just gonna take a quick little close-up here. Three-line salamander. And we will be on our way. Excellent. Right next to each other. All right, you can stop freaking out. Gonna flip, flip your home back down. Oh, make sure that you turn around. So you're under it. Good. All right, can we get three for three with this log here? And. Nope. Well, two out of three ain't bad. That's what I always say. 
Oh! Haha! <laughs> Just in this little pocket, we have two more species for you. Um, so I'm going to try to stay still because I don't want these things to jet off. But there's a ribbon snake. And it looks like maybe a little brown skink right above it. Yeah, that's a little brown skink. It's a really cool. Um, the, the ribbon skink has these nice, like almost neon color lines to it. Um, and that little dot on the head uh, is one way that you can sort of identify uh, the ribbon snakes versus the garter snakes. Um, it's not always the best field mark, um, but it's, it's certainly uh, one that we can use right now. Really awesome. Just lovely colors. The skink is uh, moving away, so we're just going to focus on the ribbon snake because I think that's a more interesting thing to look at. Yeah, this little pocket. Uh, four herps right, right here in this little, little pocketed area. All right, let's see if we can pick him up and get a closer look, maybe. Oh, but first he's doing a little head dance. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's way too fast for me. There he goes. Off in the distance. Hey, we had a pretty exciting day today. We got a couple of snakes, a couple of salamanders. I'm hearing a barred owl call in the distance now. Like, this is a pretty good spot. I really hope you enjoyed this video. So please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History. And I'll see you in the field. Let's just listen to that call again.